The most common reason for people to use vocal presets is to make the mixing and mastering process of creating a song easier. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use presets and how to make them actually fit your voice. Now, one of the most important things when using a preset is understanding which plugins you need to change to fit your mic, your room, and your voice specifically. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to change to fit your voice, your room, and your microphone. Now, if you guys are looking for a preset, head over to quintinbaba.com. I have presets for almost every single artist, and you're watching the perfect video to figure out how to actually use them. Let's jump into FL Studio and I'll show you guys what we got to do. Okay, so I have a completely blank template of FL Studio pulled up right here. And in this video, I'm going to be using my most popular preset, which is the Yeet preset, the 2093 version. So I guess the first step of using a preset would be dragging your beat in. And I just have this overseas beat from Ken Carson because I just recently did a video on it. So I'm just going to drag that in. And what I usually do is when I drag it in, I drag it over the track header, which is just going to link this playlist track over to this mixer track right here. And then if you're using an MP3, there's going to be a silence in the beginning of the song. So what I like to do is click S on my keyboard, zoom in as far as we can go and just click alt and drag that silence out in the beginning right to there it looks about right and we got to find the bpm and an easy way to do this is you could see the beat drops right here and the way the playlist works in fl studio is you could see there's four bars right here another four right here making eight so it goes four 8, 12, 16. And most songs are set up where the drop is going to hit after some sort of four bars in some position so it's looking like if we speed this up to 152 that looks like the bpm right there maybe 151 and then I'm just gonna turn the metronome on and see if this matches. As you can see, that's perfectly on time. And if you zoom in, and if you zoom in, you can see the beat drop is right on the line. So perfect, now we got that done. Now you gotta figure out how to drop the preset in. So like I said, we're gonna be using the Yeet 2093 vocal preset. So I'm just gonna go to where I have that downloaded and I'm gonna go into FL Studio to a random empty mixer track. And you could just select all of these and drag them in. And FL Studio is gonna do everything for you. Just load it up to each one of these random empty mixer tracks. It's gonna load up all the plugins that I used and have the settings matched perfectly to the way that we want them. Okay, so once you have the preset loaded up, the next step is you're gonna be able to wanna hear yourself so you can actually start adjusting these plugins. So usually what I like to do is I turn my microphone gain down, but before we do that, let's actually set our input. So all you gotta do is click whichever track your preset is on, click this button up here, and set wherever your input, wherever your mic is routed to. Mine's input one. And now we can hear ourselves. And as you can see, there is no reverb or delay. That's because a common thing to do in vocal mixing is set up your reverb, delay, and other effects to a bus, which is basically just a separate track. And the way you do that is you just shift click this button down here. And then you just control the delay with this knob right here. All right, we bring it the more delay. Same with the reverb. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we'll set that later. Now the first thing you actually gotta do is set the key to your song. So the way I like to do this is I go over to this website right here. So I'll have this linked down in the description below, but you go to the key and BPM finder. Just click browse my files. You go to my downloads. Oops. You could add as many tracks as you want. As you can see, it says the BPM is 76 F sharp minor. So let's just exit out of that. Go back into our AutoTune Pro. Set it to F sharp minor. And now we're in the key of the song. You might be wondering what retune speed is and what all the all the little things in AutoTune actually do. So in pretty much any AutoTune plugin that you're going to use, there's free ones as well. That free one in FL Studio is called Pitcher. But basically the retune speed is how robotic it's actually going to sound. And as I bring this down, you can see it's going to start sounding more normal, more like my actual voice. So it's basically the speed at which it takes your voice from being out of key to putting it into that key. So the faster it is, it's going to slide very fast. And the slower it is, it's going to slowly bring it to that key. So it depends on what you're going for. But obviously this is the Yeet preset, so we want that kicked all the way up. And basically the human eyes is just how smooth it's gonna go from that key. So I recommend you play with these, but as far as a Yeet style vocal, I like to keep the retune speed pretty damn high, almost all the way up at zero. And the human eyes pretty low because we want that robotic -y sound. Now the next part doesn't matter too much. It's just your noise suppression or noise gate. This is what I use, NS1. You could use the Fruity Limiter if you want. There's a bunch of free ones on the internet. Not too important, but it just removes the background noise. You can see if I take this off, there's a lot of hiss. So I like to use NS1. Then you got pretty much the most important part in allowing your vocal presets to work with your voice in your room. You got the EQ. So I'm using FabFilter Pro Q3, which is pretty much the best EQ you could use. It is a bit pricey, but realistically, the Fruity EQ will work just as good. Basically, all I'm doing here is we got a low cut. 
removing some of that low end. And if you haven't watched my video on how to EQ, I recommend going to watch that because that is a more in-depth tutorial. I have that link down in the description below. But basically, I did a frequency sweep, which is where you pull the band all the way up so you could hear some of the frequencies. And then you pull it out based on which frequency sounds bad. So I thought this one sounds pretty damn boxy. So we pulled that out a bit. And then I kind of attenuated these frequencies over here. And attenuation is basically just when you pull a frequency out, you might want to bring another frequency up. Like I said, if you really want to learn how to EQ, I recommend watching a video on it. But then the last thing I really did with the EQ is just pull up some of that high end. And if you turn this EQ off, you can see there's a lot more of the vocal coming in. And that's just not what we wanted. We wanted the vocal to be a little bit more tight and fit on the beat. So that's what we did. Next, you got a compressor. I also have a video on compression. I'll have that linked down below as well. Basically, all a compressor does is controls the transients of your vocal, which is basically just the highest point of volume in your vocal and the lowest point. And basically the whole goal with compression is just evening out your vocal so it sits over that beat more even and not having these random volume dips in your vocal. Now the main thing with adjusting your compressor is pretty much just a threshold. You wanna make sure that this is actually activating and this will depend on how loud or quiet you have your mic. You can see if I start bringing my gain up, the compressor is gonna start activating a lot more, which is if it's way quieter, it's barely even activating. So you might have to bring the threshold down a bit just so it's actually connecting with your voice. And the rest of the plugins after this is just some extra stuff to make my voice louder or just sound a little bit better some of the main plugins that you really need to use fresh air this is free definitely get this it basically saturates your vocal makes it sound a lot better you can see when i bring this up you get a lot of air on the vocal as it says right here add some sparkle i had that about 50. And you also want to de -esser. if you don't have this on your voice the s's ss, ss, get really harsh versus with it on ss, ss, ss much better and then i always put a fruity flangus on my voice what this does is it basically puts your vocal into a stereo field it just makes it, it adds a little flair to your voice like if i got it all the way up here you can kind of really see what the effect is doing but i usually have the mix sit around 16. and like i said these are just all things you might want to adjust to your specific taste now as far as delay and reverb goes this is all based on what you want your vocal to sound like but what I usually do is I just set it at some random point. And then basically once you have your auto-tune and reverb set, you just start recording. Huh, yeah, you can't take from me what I gave to you, little bitch, you fought the streets. I just know when you come around, little bitch, I'm about to lose my sleep. Yeah, I'ma make it happy. Stand my paper, stand my bread, and stand my brother's heaven at. You look like some shit that came up out of movie scene. I might make you look like nothing cause you dead to me. Alright, and then once you have something recorded, it's pretty good practice to go through, make sure your gain set. You might have to gain stage it a bit, which is basically just bringing the volume up or down. And then you just might want to adjust some stuff based on how you actually want it to sound, but I'm pretty sure this is set up exactly where I want it. I might take some of the reverb out. Huh, yeah, you can't take from me what I gave to you, little bitch, you fought the streets. I just know when you come around, little bitch, I'm about to lose my sleep. Yeah, I'ma make it happy. Stand my paper, stand my bread, and stand my brother's heaven at. You look like some shit that came up out of movie scene. I might make you look like nothing, cause you dead to me. I be running through blocks without this treasury. Put some nouns on my wrist. Huh, yeah, you can't take from me what I gave to you, little bitch, you fought the streets. I just know when you come around, little bitch, I'm about to lose my sleep. But yeah, that's how you use vocal presets. I hope this helped you. If you guys do still have any questions about that, I recommend you join the Discord server because I have this new ticket system where you can open a ticket and I can help you out with any questions you have. But that's all I got for this video, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Deuces.